Hello. In this video we're going to discuss the new document library in SharePoint 2016 uh, online and 365 released by Microsoft at the end of August 2016. Currently we're looking at the new document library interface. So if I take you back to the beginning of the team site and we go through and we have the app document library you'll see when we add it here and we open it we get this new interface there's a couple of points to notice here notice that the recent category has been removed from this interface in the quick launch and we have this new top line. If we click on this new option, what happens is we get the new document templates and these are installed by default. And these are attached to their own content types. So if we select one of these, let's say select the word document. In this scenario, what's going to happen is the online word interface is going to open up. And Let's say I create a, a sales for June document here. Now notice that this is auto saving. This is because it's on the online version. And if I click back here and go back, you'll see that it has added the document automatically. Now if I go back to this document, you'll notice that the changes have already been saved here. So Again, if I then want to continue editing, I have the option here to either edit in the desktop uh, client, which will be running off my desktop, which means that it needs to be installed and connected to this through my account, or I can edit in the browser, which we're currently doing in the cloud. Now, this has reduced options available to it. If I want to now save this document, I need to rename it here you don't always have to rename it here and obviously here you have the option to replace if I just leave this unchecked and save it now when I navigate back to the document library notice that I've got two documents here now now they're both the same document all that's happened is that one has been renamed now I, I have the option here uh, to switch into quick edit which allows me if I wanted to to change this to May 2016. Now these are these are the same documents. The document has changed with the name and we can now go back into that document and edit um, if, if we wanted to very simply so this is the basics of the new document library um, again you can you can drag drop new documents in here it works very much the same as the the old document library in, in that respect and there are some other modifications that I will show in the next video. Thank you for watching.